tucked in the journal of a southern Utah grandmother appears to be LDS prophet Joseph Smith. But is it? There is only one known photograph of the founder of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It was given to the Library of Congress back in 1879. But now, a family heirloom from southern Utah is being tested to see if it is, in fact, an authentic picture of the LDS prophet. ABC 4's Barb Smith investigates this remarkable story. Barb. Ross and Karen, Kim Marshall of Santa Clara sent me an email explaining that she had a very unique heirloom and an interesting problem. She felt the black and white photo found in a family scrapbook was the prophet Joseph Smith. But she was having trouble finding anyone willing to help her unravel the mystery. I headed for Southern Utah to find out more. One word to describe her, generous. She was generous and I just don't think she knew. Kim Marshall says her grandmother didn't know this picture tucked in a family album next to yellowed newspaper clippings was potentially a very rare photograph of LDS prophet Joseph Smith. Carolyn Grant was serving a mission in Texas in the 1950s when an unknown man gave her the image. The man who gave it to him, I don't think he thought of, there was a value in it. That was my impression, more my, you know, just kind of like, oh, you're LDS. You would appreciate this. Until a month ago, Marshall didn't see much value in the old black and white either. She was online when she came across the Library of Congress image, the only known photo of the LDS prophet. She read about the surrounding controversy, whether it was a photograph of a painting or an actual early daguerreotype photo of Joseph Smith. I was on the internet, and it, that's when I hit a website, and, we, and I was like, what? They're saying that's the photo of him, but I'm like, don't they have this photo? Marshall says that began her quest to find out what Grandma Grant had really given her. And it just snowballed and I just non-stop studied it. I didn't sleep for like a week. She started going, is this real? Is this real? You know, looking at the little details of it and you're like, okay, what if this really is what everybody's been looking for all this time? And the details in the image led Marshall to a bold conclusion. An, an edited version of what the Library of Congress has. This is Kim Marshall's photo, and this is the Library of Congress photo. Now, as you can see, they fit together perfectly, but there are differences. Marshall says an artist touched up the Library of Congress version using paint, masking unruly hair, enlarging the eyes, and correcting other features. They corrected features like his nose is crooked, and so the artist painted it. Retouching was common for that era. Photography had just been invented. Images were created on polished iron using mercury. They were then copied onto glass plates used as negatives. Marshall says her photo and the Library of Congress image came from the same negative. But how do you prove such a claim? Our first stop was meeting with LDS church historian Bill Slaughter. They couldn't disprove it, so... But Marshall says church historians also told her it would take more time to unravel the mystery. We then introduced Marshall to an independent photo historian, Al Talin, who provided more clues. Paper that's a double weight paper that's from about, that could be from the 1950s, uh, late 40s. But despite the relative recent age of the paper, he says it originated from a very at? old uh, negative. Whoever made that print mm -hmm. had a copy negative. And at that point, it would have been a copy negative on a glass plate. Colleen says Marshall's image is unmistakably a daguerreotype, a contact print, and a photograph. The clarity of the eyes, the sharpness of that, shows that it has come from a photograph, that it's not paint strokes on there. They're not. But as many questions as have been answered, many more still remain. But for now, Marshall is satisfied that her grandmother's gift is something to be treasured. It's a neat image and a high quality image. You know, where the negative is, I don't know. And I spoke with LDS church officials again today, and they are very interested in this photo, but they say more testing is needed before any conclusions can be reached. Kim Marshall told me that her next step is to have it micro-scanned, and that will show the most minute details and could provide more clues. And we will keep you updated on any new developments. Karen? All right, thank you.